Hello everyone. Are you curious about whether fish feel pain when hooked? Let's find out. The question of whether fish experience pain is a topic of ongoing scientific debate, and research on this subject has yielded mixed findings. While fish possess nervous systems and sensory receptors that are capable of detecting noxious stimuli, the extent to which they perceive and experience pain in a subjective manner similar to humans is still not fully understood. Some studies suggest that fish exhibit physiological and behavioral responses to noxious stimuli that are consistent with experiencing pain. For example, fish may display protective behaviors such as rubbing against objects, increased ventilation rate, and struggling when hooked or subjected to painful stimuli. Additionally, studies have shown changes in neurotransmitter levels and gene expression associated with stress and nociception, the perception of harmful stimuli, in response to painful stimuli in fish. However, other research suggests that fish may not experience pain in the same way that humans do, due to differences in their neuroanatomy, physiology, and evolutionary history. Fish lack certain brain structures associated with conscious awareness and pain perception in mammals, leading some scientists to argue that their responses to noxious stimuli may be more reflexive or automatic rather than indicative of subjective experiences of pain. Furthermore, fish may exhibit variations in their responses to noxious stimuli depending on factors such as species, size, age, and previous experience. Some fish species may show more pronounced responses to painful stimuli, while others may display more subtle or variable reactions. Overall, while the question of whether fish feel pain when hooked remains unresolved, there is evidence to suggest that fish are capable of experiencing aversive sensations and displaying physiological and behavioral responses to noxious stimuli. Further research is needed to better understand the nature of pain perception in fish and its implications for their welfare and humane treatment in recreational and commercial fishing practices. Thank you for watching. Please follow for more related videos and see you later. Goodbye.